ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to F3, round number 20 here for the RSF1 Championship. And today we could be crowning a new world champion, as you can see him on screen right now. It's between him and RSF1 Stretch. If Rocket outscores Stretch today, Rocket is the world champion for F3 here in RSF1. Now it's going to be a very, very eventful race. It's not the round of the season. I will be at Abu Dhabi as well, um, because I am part of the comms team for this tier at the moment. And I'll be part of the comms team for a different tier next season. Or maybe the same tier. Nobody knows, but we will know when we get there. But, we get it started on this one. Shane has just gone across the line. And has he got himself into Q3? Just about. Shane's just scraped into Q3. Quirky Turtle, Asteroid and Blazer Gun missing out. And I believe Eyes the Best crashed out in Q1, but we didn't have any footage of that. But now, we go into Q3, and you can see that Rocket is facing the wrong way at Turn 3. I'm not sure what's happened here, but it looks like he's uh, driving backwards, then reversing, and then driving backwards again. He sorted himself out. No, he hasn't. He spun again. What is he doing? What is he doing? And also, for next time, guys, I'll make sure I remind myself to turn off the very top part of the screen. Now, Stretch, coming across the line, what can he do? And he improves to P4, just behind his teammate, Eagle. But, as you can see, a load of other cars putting in laps. Matty goes P2. What a lap that is by Matty. But Rocket's on pole. Rocket did crash in that session. But he's on pole by 2.60 tenths of a second. He is quite far ahead. Now let's get into the race and the formation lap. Eyes the best starting from P14 after his unfortunate crash in Q1. Then in front of him we've got Blazer, Guns in the upper turret. Then FTR Asteroid who used to be Comet in 12th. Quirky Titan in P11 getting the fresh chance, fresh sort of tyres. So he's in the best position. Then Crazy Fish P10. Then Millsy P9 with Grunty. In P8, who should be a little bit disappointed. I thought it'd be a little bit higher up. Then you got Quaker Roads in P7 with RSF1 Shane coming home in P6 to start the race. Camo P5, the championship contender RSF1 Stretch P4. So he's only three positions behind Rocket, but he would prefer to be in front. Eagle P3, Matty P2, and Rocket, who has absolutely bolted out in front. And one thing I can tell you guys this is a restart. So everybody's got fresh tyres because we had a little crash because Rocket's AI and a couple other AIs just crashed up the session. But we go to five red lights and it's go, go, go here for round number 20 in RSF1 F3 division around Brazil. And Rocket gets in a really good launch off the line on the medium tyres. Ignore the top corner. The time and screen are messed up. And Eagle tried to have a go at Matty there but Stretch has lost the position camo off the line that's awful for stretch the last thing he needed and he's lost a couple other positions actually Quake Rhodes and Shane have got in front of him what's happened to stretch and there's chaos grunty camo I think it I think it was grunty grunty's gone around blazer guns involved in that a Ferrari involved in that Matty I believe chaos absolute chaos and brought out a safety car and we now are watching musical rocket absolutely toying with the safety car for some reason as you can see he's getting close to it you hit it it's either a disqualification or an instant retirement so he's got to be very careful blazer guns gets his other time penalty under the safety car which is awkward rocket nearly hit the safety car what's he doing wow oh an asteroid binned it in the pit lane and unfortunately for him it's disqualified him and you've got a car in front of him quaker oaks who might have been involved as well and um doesn't appear to be accelerating, but I don't know what happened there. Now, we go to the restart under the safety car. Rocket's backing everybody up really, really, like, aggressively, actually. You've got Stretch here trying to have a go at Shane, but he's got to wait for Rocket. And Quaker Oats catches up to the rest of the field, actually, so that's really good for Quaker Oats. And it's go! We're, we're racing again, and the green flag. The safety car restarts worked perfectly for Rocket. Eagle does not have a go at him, but Shane nearly went into the back of, I think it was Eagle there, but then loses the position to Stretch. Now, will the Mercedes swap positions? I don't think they will, and they have not yet. And Qu Quaker Rose goes on the inside, kind of batters his teammate right out of the way. 
Uh, but they're side by side. There's no love lost between these two. They might be teammates, but they're racing for themselves. Quaker Oats is very frustrated. He wants to get past. Now, oh my god, Rocket's gone. Rocket's gone around. Eagle's gone around, but they come back on the track. Hey, Shane, Grunty's around. You've got chaos. Absolute chaos after a mistake there from the leader, Rocket. And oh my god, the, the racing points have hit each other. Camo and Grunty have hit each other. And now, lap 10, you can see the Blazing Guts has crashed. This is chaos. Absolute chaos here. And then we've got another safety car to allow me to catch my breath. But no, Rocket has spun under the safety car and gone from first to fourth, giving Stretch the lead. Stretch has not fitted under the safety car, though, which is probably a mistake for him. And he's going to have to just drag those tyres on. But Rocket got overexcited on the throttle and lost a couple of positions there. Now, is he going to have an instant go back here at Quaker Oats? I think he might think about it. But no, he decides to sit there for now. But Shane! Shane has outbroke himself and hit Rocket. What a save that is, though, by Rocket. He's managed to keep that car somehow in a straight line. And he only loses one position to Shane. Shane, obviously, did not intend to hit Rocket there. But he did clip clip the back of him and as you can see Rocket probably clipping this clip now himself and loses two positions crazy fishing for every turtle drives through him as he clips what he wanted to send to the stewards I believe or put it in video one or the other but yeah oh that was chaos there but Rocket nearly goes again but on the slide passes Shane and Eagle follows him through that was very smart Shane loses another position there at Camo what's happened to Shane? Shane's just lost a couple of additions in a few quarters. Now he's 29 seconds back from the car in front because he has pitted. Now, Crazy Fish all over the back. Is that Crazy Fish? No, it's not. Sorry, my bad. But he turns all over the back of Crazy Fish, goes down the inside and makes the move stick into turn one. And he gets the pass car one more position up the field. He's in the field five. Next up for him is Matty on the hard side. Now Crazy Fish, Crazy Turtle, you, oh, we switched to Rocket now, Rocket on the back of Crazy Fish, he's trying to use the DRS, and he's not even using the DRS actually, to be honest, but I don't think he'll have to, and he doesn't, he just, ooh, that was close, just about makes the move stick on Crazy Fish, and Rocket's back into P6, and in front of him, you can see the Ferrari, get a bit feisty on the back there, or, or think Crazy Turtle actually might have just passed him, now we got a VSC. I don't know what's happened here for the VSC. Oh, Grunty. Grunty's had an incident. We're having a little look at Shane to see if we can see what's happened to Grunty, but I don't think we can. But yeah, unfortunately, Grunty's had a mistake there somewhere along the line, and we're just riding on board with Shane right now as he's so far back. I don't know what's happened to Shane in this race, but it's been a disaster for him. But there you are. Stretch gets a drive through penalty, and I think... That might be championship over. He's on 18 lap old soft tyres. And the game is going to make him go around for another lap. It's making him serve his drive through first. So I think the championship's over. Rocket should be the world champion. He's right behind Stretch. Rocket doesn't have to pit again. Stretch has to pit again. Stretch is on 19 lap old soft tyres. Rocket's on one lap old soft tyres. I don't think there's any chance here for Stretch. And there you go. He goes into the pits. Rocket goes past him. Now, let's cut to the front here. You can see Matty and Camo going side by side in the background. And I think Camo just about makes the move stick on Matty. As we're watching Crazy Fish all over the back of Quirty Turtle. Now, Rocket's in again. Rocket's pitting again. He's done five laps on these soft tyres and decided that was enough and pitted. He's come out P8, still ahead of Stretch. All he's got to do is beat Stretch today. And Rocket goes around the outside of Mills. A nice easy overtake. Next up, Rocket is Eagle. And we cut here to the end of lap 29. He's all over the back of Eagle. At massive but this will be a very comfortable move for Rocket and he's back in six, making his way up the field after his little mistakes. Can he do any more? Can he catch Camo? I'm not sure. But no, I don't think he didn't have enough laps. Just about losing out. But Matty in the Ferrari wins today. Or does he? No, he doesn't. Quaker Oaks gets him on penalties. Quirky Turtle comes home in P2. Matty P3. I's the best P4. 
Camo P5 and the World Champion Musical Rocket P6, Millsy P7, Crazy Fish P8, P9, Eagle P10. Stretch, he put up a very good fight, he tried his best. Congratulations, Rocket, new world title, and I will see you later.